in a very in a very great way. Yeah, like, that thing know. is awesome. So though. it's like it's a Ghostbusters proton pack. Yeah. It shoots Nazi yeah, disintegrating it shoots, juice. Yep. Yes, well, the gra- great green juice. The great thing is they kind of like just come there, poof, right? But their hats don't. Like everything else is gone, but their hats, their hats just like, spin in the air and, and fall they, to the they ground. They kind of crumple and they're guns. Yeah. So the guns I understand, but like whatever you're making your hats out of, make the rest of your suit out of. Like the rest of you, out of. <laughs> like, like cover well, no, yourself. Why, in why that. do they care? It's like, well, yeah, because we want to leave behind the uniform. Like whatever. <laughs> like I, I kind of didn't get that part, but it looked. I, good. I you know, I really didn't see the hat yeah. thing so much. Yeah, I didn't notice that either. But. No, that's I, I definitely noticed it, but I understood why you do it because it looks cool. Like you just see like a little hat. Woo, woo, woo. Just drift down. Um, so this is this is Dong King Boxing. Sorry, that's my cold. <laughs> Dong King Boxing. <laughs> you keep saying it. Dong King Boxing. Should we explain that at some point? I guess we should. We? Oh, I, don't I don't know, know if we did. If we didn't, uh, sweet no, ass press release. No disrespect to be made to Mr. King at all here, but we got a sweet ass press release for Dong King Boxing. Yeah, where they had misspelled Dong as Dong. And I it just said Dong King presents Prize Fighter <laughs> or whatever the game is. No, no, no. no it, wasn't, it wasn't at the top. It was like lower down, and someone's like, because they had like. It was it was the initial announcement that we're making this boxing game with the Don King yeah, license yeah. or whatever. And since it's you know it's King Productions or whatever, you have eighteen different PR people's contacts oh, right, at the bottom. Right. Yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah. if you want to talk to you know the boxing association people or the publisher or the developer or Don King, but uh, the Don King person's uh, contact information said Don King. Productions. Wouldn't it be great if Don King's production company was called yeah. Don King how, how Productions? Do you know that's wrong because that is a that is not a typo. That is a word substitution. Well, that came out for the Xbox 360 and PS3. Yeah, uh, still, you know, companies aren't really hiring a whole lot these days. I saw no. a bumper sticker that said the CHP is hiring. I know, and actually, I've looked into things like that. Um, oh wow! Yeah, so that's yeah. That's My girlfriend forwarded me an email cop. saying that yeah, I, oh, you'd be a great cop. I've, I've actually been mistaken for being a cop before. Um, you, a cop? you have to tell me. If you, you have to tell. Yeah, yeah, you have to tell us if you're a cop. No, 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 no. I just I just look like one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Yeah, he's cool. cool. He's cool. Yeah. All right, let's talk about these heroin I've got. <laughs> <laughs> right, the only appropriate answer to that. Question. No, he's cool. No, no. He's cool. He's cool. Don't. Just, just chill, just chill. Hey, you'd make a fantastic cop. Yeah, apparently it's the shaved head that uh, that <laughs> does it. it. Away. Yeah, like that guy. You have on, an air of unearned authority about you. Yeah, I well, think. Well, thank, that, you. Well, thank you. <laughs> I think is good for a cop. Just being a game cop, dress up like a cop and say this game's under arrest for sucking. <laughs> <laughs> hold, 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 on, hold on a second. I gotta go register a website. <laughs> game cop. Oh, gamecop. dot com is already that's <laughs> long gone. gone. Ah, I'm checking, long, I'm checking, you need to check. Talk, okay. Check. <laughs> while while you check, uh, I'm going to introduce our drink for this week's show. Oh, God. This is, uh, John Carlo, I told you this earlier, but I want to reiterate, you are here for a very special episode because I think this is probably going to be the worst thing we've ever tasted on this show. God. That's saying a lot. That is, uh, we have a storied history. We have a, a year-long history of tasting sometimes deli- delicious and delightful and indulgent. Sometimes a citrusy. Tasty treats. A citrusy back end on some of those drinks. Yes, yeah, sometimes it tastes a little of citrus and then we get jittery. <laughs> And sometimes it's poison. And we sometimes it's poison that, drink it that the, the Swedes bring us, and then we ingest it. I'm sorry, guys. Gamecop.com is taken. Uh, what? <laughs> as is .net and .org. Uh, what about .tv? I can't search that from this side I'm looking at. What about .gov? <laughs> Gamecop TV <laughs> would be pretty good, though. Yeah. You're watching Gamecop TV, and you're under arrest. <laughs> so this comes from Luke. Multiplayer split screen. <laughs> this comes from Luke Miller. He doesn't say where he's from. And what is it? Oh, what is brother. It? Talk it up, man. It is Bird's Nest Drink. Yeah. yeah. From FOCO. From your friends from at, fa- FOCO. at FOCO. Flavored artificial white fungus. What? It says our flavored artificial white fungus. The ingredients yeah. are bird's nest flavoring, water, rock sugar, white fungus. So the white fungus is not, in fact, artificial. This comes from Thailand. Well, the the thing that I love about this is just not that there's bird's nest flavoring in here, that there's also white fungus. Yeah. yeah. If that weren't enough for you. Yeah. I don't like fungus. I, I, I'm not is, a mushroom fan I'm either. I'm a big mushroom oh, fan. I hate them. I have to pick them out of my Chinese food. And it food. says, it makes me angry. Nuok Yen Yen Ni. <laughs> that is racist shit. Dude. That's son Al Parfum Du... And that's in French. That's French. French. That's French. Well, it's Thailand, man. They speak French. Red dye number what? seven. <laughs> What? Yeah, what? 
Oh no, it's uh, Vietnam. They got all yeah. the French influence, not not Thailand. Yeah, racist. Yeah, this racist. can is also kind of heavy. Do you notice? Do you feel and this? It's, it's got the it's, weird kind of rim, rims that are like it's like a little, separate, it's, it's, it's it's Red Bull size. You can tell that this can was not produced for. This country. It's got a tooth chipper I, on I'm, it. I'm yeah. afraid that I might be psyching myself out on this one. Is, I don't know that I can drink this. No, do it. Let's all pop it. Oh, this Let's is do it. So Move this forward. Like, the fact that bird's Coco. nest flavoring is above water on the list. <laughs> like, usually on well, any a drink. bird's nest is made out of sticks, right? Yeah. So you just pour some water yeah, through and that. bird well, vomit. Yeah. I'm just saying really that, like, stick like it together. on any other drink, first ingredient's always carbonate. No matter how sweet or flavored it is, first ingredient always carbonated water. Well, the flavored fact that Bird's art. Nest is first, flavored top artificial of the list, fungus. number one with a bullet. Well, also up near the Foco thing, there's a quality selected by Tay thing with the fish and the and the leaf pumping right. the fish. Yeah, yeah, but that, leaf leaf pump fishes. Oh. That's how it works in the in the wild. Uh, All right, it's do we shake it up? Do it's we shake clear. This? What? No, that is way too much. Take I it raw. Oh. Right, you know, you get a little. Right, it smells kind of like nothing. Unless it's, I'm not getting enough here. Doesn't really. Uh, it really might be the allergies talking, but I don't smell anything. I don't really smell anything. Right. You know what? Your allergies and your sickness, Giancarlo, might be working to your advantage because yeah. that reduces your ability to taste. Hey, bottoms up, fellas. All right. All right, here we ah. oh, uh, Was there uh, solid things in yours? No. no. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Apparently, there's de- ba- dead baby bird in yours as well. <laughs> That's right. Sometimes, every 12th can. <laughs> I don't want to drink any more of that. I actually kind of like it. I don't, don't want to drink any more of that. It's like. Super mellow. There's something. There was something. Yeah, it's like it's got a weird, like milky kick. Yeah, 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 milkish. What's wrong? I don't know. There's something <laughs> in mine. It's a Hello? beak. I don't. I really don't know. You should hear. Take a sip out of the can. Yeah, well, we'll just pour it all into the cup I'll and see if there's something. Yeah, there. pour all the cup. See if there's any orbits in there. Maybe you won. Like it's a Pepsi thing. You won a dollar. It's just you get a free song up. download. No, I feel like there was something you just crazy. Out, Maybe you just lodged, like dislodged some beef jerky out of your teeth. <laughs> Yeah, uh-huh, yeah, yes, okay, fuck you guys. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, but he's running for the... B- <laughs> <laughs> Someone touched my lips. I told you, I told you. It didn't get in my mouth, though. I'm not, I'm not getting any of that. Oh, uh, just yeah, keep it. Well, the thing is that I poured out a significant amount into his... Mm. Oh, so there, yeah, there it is. Here it is. There you go. All right, I, don't, I don't know, I don't want that. What is that? Okay, I'm not going to keep drinking this. Some kind of jelly-like substance that... Like orbits. That's the white fungus. That's the bird's, that's the bird's nest? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to drink. I'm not going to drink any more of this. I told you guys. Hey, soft. You, hey, drink people. Don't put solids in your drink. You doubted me. It's like somebody's contact lens. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like why, the taste. Why I swallowed the lumpy bits. I did too because it was in my it first just tasted, sip. It tasted more like what the rest of the drink tastes like. Yeah, I just I don't. It's just yeah. Just when you're expecting a drink, you don't expect things in your drink. Yeah, it feels like the sticky stuff you, people put credit cards on the <laughs> letters with. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Let's never drink anything on this podcast ever again. So, no. yeah, fuck you, Luke. Thanks, Luke. <laughs> Thanks a lot, buddy. Hey, you know what? I never would have... N- I'm exposed now. My worldview is broad. I'm rattled. This is, I'm, I'm ready. I'm this worse. is like the time I bought Lucasade from the store up the street and it had chunks in it. I'm worse. about the wrong kind. I'm worse off for Actually, that experience. You know what's funny? I was watching Big Trouble in Little China this weekend. That is funny. There's that part where they're drinking like the juice that makes them think yeah. they're all powerful and stuff. Yeah. That's mm. what this is. Yeah. You no, know, it makes them powerful. It doesn't make them think. Oh, that's, it makes yes. them powerful. Were, that's right. The like like they make, yeah, they do the, 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 yes, right, the index finger thumb thing. Yes. Maybe I need to like wash my mouth out with some of this Swedish candy that we still have sitting here. That's a good uh, idea. Giancarlo, would you care for a got and blandat salt? Sure, why not? It says salt right on it. That, must, that means it's good. I'm yeah, sorry. that means it's good. You like salt, right? I love salt. I just I've got a Diet in Coke mouth. here. There's Diet Cokes in the fridge. Oh, also. my God. Birds yeah. nesting in here. What have you done to me? <laughs> I know. I've given you... Oh, wait. What's happening at the other end of this table? Oh, I gave him some salt. I gave him the seashell candy. Oh, that, my oh, good God. The seashell one is the worst also. Yeah, yeah. that was also the one that I had no, when we opened this powder was the worst. No, I mean like, of that bag. Because yeah. the, the, oh. that was like the multi-flavored. Keep going. One of the god-awful things I've ever... Welcome to the bomb cast. <laughs> oh God! Spit it in describe your it. Just describe it. Just, 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 I, I, it's very, very salty. <laughs> Come on, theater of the mind. I, it's it's salty. <laughs> Wait, uh. Come for the bird's nest. Stay for the salted candy. Wait, see now the salt's going away, and now it's giving way to something else awful. No, that's not. That's all right. That's licorice tea. <laughs> yeah. Does anyone want a bottle of Nos? We have a bunch. You're just gonna drink yeah. it up. <laughs> uh, I'll go get it. 
right, give me a fruit punch and give me the note that's with it. Cause, yeah, we, we, yeah, we got sent some NOS. We got sent some NOS, which they sell around here and we've already drank, so we weren't going to do a full-on taste test of it. But uh, but you like NOS. But I like NOS. Two cans of NOS. I need, by tonight. I need it by tonight. Wait, there's like some salty center, too. Yeah, yeah oh. the center of it is also... Like I said, it's the rope of dope. No. Red cap. Red cap. Yeah, yeah. Is there, I'm looking for the note. Is this the note? Yeah, the note that was with it. Uh, right around it. Uh, so, yes, uh, Luke, thank you again for the, the drinks. And Giancarlo, thanks for coming by and filling in for Bradley. No problem. A pleasure. <laughs> sure. Whoa. Hey, Brad's back. Brad's back, apparently. But his mustache is still gone. And uh, We saw I, him. We saw him. I don't know if you have seen him since he shaved. I Oh, with his full shavedness? Yeah. 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 Did you see him with the mustache? I saw pictures oh, of him well, with the mustache. Pictures, yeah. I didn't actually get to see him. Yeah, he, we dropped w- off the He camera. woke up the next morning after he he trimmed down to the mustache and shaved it off immediately. <laughs> I can't blame him. As much as it's, it would be smarter to keep it, I've, I've been looking. It, really it was really good. It was really good. Well, the face really he was mustache. making in that picture was pretty good. It too. was a really good mustache yeah. face. It, it was a good mustache. I'm sad to see it go. I yeah, wish people had the stones... To just keep a mustache. Damn, when, when we, when we handed it. off the camera that he could t- so he could take to the Ghostbusters event, he, it, he looked like five years younger. <laughs> <laughs> was like Brad, it looks like a little kid. The just hell, baby Brad. Yeah. Well, he always looked young too, so now he just looks ten. He doesn't look fifteen <laughs> yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and uh, thank you to the listeners at home for and listening. thank you, Houston. And thanks, yeah, thanks to Houston. Thanks to <laughs> car accidents. Yeah. And you, those guys thank, ran. And thanks, thanks to THQ for facilitating THQ. the viewing of car accidents. Thanks to Rowdy Roddy Piper. And thanks to uh, Sergeant Slaughter. And thanks to uh, Walgreens. And thanks to Pistachios. <laughs> That's right. And thanks to the lady who took the pistachios away. No, fuck her. <laughs> no, we survived. That's what you do in Houston. You survive. Cut you off. Uh, that's going to do it for the Giant Bombcast for this oh, week. Oh, and thanks to the guy who stole Jeff's seat on the airplane. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks to that guy. We'll be back next week. Middle seat. Tuesday, May the 19th, 2009, and you are listening to the Giant Bombcast. I'm your host, Bombcast. Ryan Davis. Bombcast, Bombcast, Bombcast. <laughs> Countdown. I'm Ryan Davis. I'm joined by Vinny Caravella, hey. Brad Shoemaker, Shepherd. and uh, that other guy. You pay for the whole podcast, but you only need the edge. Hey, how's it going, gentlemen? <laughs> What's going Good. on? How's going the, week well. the podcast? Woo. How's the wet last week been for everyone? Vinny? The, the been... wet week was amazing. Last week was pretty good. The sweaty week. Oh man, sweaty cookie. Was. Yep. The Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, do you want to know what I was playing? Or I was just asking you. No, it's more general. Well, what do you guys have? Where you going with this? <laughs> hey, what do you want from me? <laughs> what's up? Hey, hey. What's, how's it going? How was? How have you been? Fable two. How's your mother? She's all right. Yeah. The big biscotti. <laughs> What you can't be referencing jokes that happened before we start. Sure, I can. You had to be here. Okay. <laughs> Next time, come. Oh man, you guys should have been there five minutes before the podcast started. <laughs> All the best, hilarious. All the best stuff. Everything, hilarious. everything after we hit record was garbage, but that <laughs> magic moment. <laughs> These guys are too hot for radio. Boing. We have some drinks, yep. some various treats of various kinds here. Uh, most of them coming from Texas, I believe. That's right. Uh, Danny sent uh, these in. He sent us. Uh, finally, we got our hands on some Mountain Dew Throwback, which still you still can't find it. in the you, area. You've got you've got a bottle of I'm it. I'm drinking there. a bottle. We've got like four more bottles of it because Danny was very generous with the the drinks. Very here. much so. Yes. How, how do you feel about the Mountain Dew Throwback? I think Jeff? I prefer uh, regular Mountain Dew. That seems to be the consensus that's coming out. Vinny also happens to have a, uh, a bottle of uh, Dr Pepper Imperial. It's actually Which, really good. You like it? It's different. <coughs> I'm not a huge Dr. Pepper fan. Uh, I'm a pretty big Dr. Pepper fan, so I think as soon as this is over, I'm going to crack open the other one of those we got. And is, try it. is that Imperial as in cane sugar? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, uh, like the throwback, they use sugar instead of uh, yeah. corn, who, who corn makes, syrup. Who makes, is, like, so obviously that's the new trend in soda is like real sugar. Limited edition real sugar <laughs> sodas. Does, does a different company make Dr. Pepper? Like, Dr. Pepper? 
Like then it's West. not it's not part of like the the Dr Pepper Mountain company Dew. makes Dr Pepper. Yeah, I believe Pepper. the Dr oh, Pepper company. That's not, wow, really? Makes yeah. Dr Pepper. I thought by law every soda was owned by Coca Cola or Pepsi company. I think that no, they are, are Dr Pepper is affiliated with one of the others mm-hmm. somehow for like distribution for purposes. Distribution, yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, you listen to the giant soda <laughs> cast. We're talking about the business of distributed yeah. sodas. Nice, nice, like fifty style label on that. I think one. it's really yeah. weird that we, as a society, have gotten to this point where putting actual sugar in something <laughs> is like so a, It's like, oh, it's healthy. Like, wh- no, <laughs> no, it's sugar. No, it's sugar. It's still it is, sugar. It's, it's not still sugar. It's not it is, like it is, the it eviler you, kind you of sugar. You could argue like the merits of high fructose corn syrup versus sugar. That's fine, but don't <laughs> think like I drank twenty Mountain Dew throwbacks in a day because it's like health food. These Twinkies are delicious. As well, like they're the, organic no. now. Organic Twinkies, well, they come from the earth. <laughs> the, the, my favorite part of those like ant, those like high fructose corn syrup ads in oh, defense of it. it, they're yeah. so good. Yeah, there's like they're not so bad. Come on, or were they just like, have you heard what that stuff will do to you? And the other dude's like, like no, what? have you? What? Like what? Are they what do? is it gonna uh, do? And the other guy's like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I like it because it makes, everyone, exactly. it makes everyone in that conversation dicks. Yep. Like the guy who's like anti corn syrup is like all up in his grill. <laughs> yeah. And then the guy who's pro corn syrup's like just as much of a shithead. It's just And then somebody just shits on a bed and it's just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Who put these ads out? The corn like syrup, the corn, corn lobby, corn, yeah, corn growers. Association. I think I'm I'm pro high fructose <laughs> corn syrup just because I'm anti people that uh, get Are all against? uppity about it. I'm against high fructose corn syrup, You're but anti I'm, people believing in things. I ain't gonna force totally, my opinion totally. on you. I've noticed that until about you. complete nihilism has been achieved, <laughs> my work will never be done. So it must be infuriating with, your with the back and forth though, where you have like high fructose corn syrup is cool, but now it's bad, and sugar's good, and now it's evil. So like, what, how do you settle? Just hate everything. Constant stream of nonstop hate. <laughs> un adult un, un what? unstoppable disgust. Disdain. It's really the only way that I can feel that I've taken some kind of high ground in the situation and feel better about myself. I, I hate uh, that. That that's I'm against that right now. I apparently am also going against the high fructose. I've got a drink here. I got some some uh what is this? Brain ooze. This is the energy drink Pure that came sugar. with uh, our copy our a uh, download code for uh, Plants vs. Zombies from the good folks at PopCap. And this has sucrose and glucose, so no high fructose corn syrup in here either. It looks like an energy drink. What's it taste like? Uh, kind of like Red Bull. It's great. <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's just Red Bull. <laughs> well, Danny sent us the... So uh, Jeff's life was saved and our way oh, to the Walgreens. The, the, our first... Oh, yeah, within an hour of us being in Texas. Uh... We were crossing this big street. Houston's a uh, car city. Driving town. West, yeah. Westheimer. Everything's bigger. No shoulders on the roads. Yeah. Not for pedestrians. There There's, are sidewalks, though. That are, are literally like, you know, cars are no bike inches, lane, away, yeah, no inches away from you. So we're sitting there waiting for the light to change. And two pickup trucks racing down the road, like 80 miles an hour. Like, yeah. brrr, like are we talking like slam step sides? Like, what kind of... Fast. No, they were. They were. They, they were, were doing. They jacked up. No, they were just like check out my F one hundred and fifty. It wasn't like anything. That <laughs> there was nothing really fancy to it. Was, they had a couple of it, it, Ford except, trucks. except the windows were tinted because yeah. apparently you can't drive a car in Texas unless you got super tinted windows. <laughs> Even the cabs. Uh, yeah, That's the law. The, with the heat, you know, they probably have to uh, do that. So it's in their charter. Yeah. So that was our first sign that we should stay away from the roads. Yeah. Yes. And then the second sign. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> So I, now I've heard the story. I'm going to ask you, Vinny. It's a great story. But I'm going to ask you to tell the abbreviated yeah, version. Yeah, sure. Well, uh, yeah, I'll I'll set this up. So we we went I to go the see the verbose version. And it was delightful, but we went to go see uh, Fast and Furious, which yeah. uh, you know it's all right. It's it's, lot, it, it's it's better than all right. It's uh, it's it's cars and and fast. It's exactly and, what it needs to be and, and furious. And so we step out of the theater after the humongous theater. Uh, come out of there into this gigantic parking lot. And we're walking through, and everybody's doing their Fast and Furious impression in their cars, and kind of speeding all around. Only the all their cars lot. are junk. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like people trying to like squeal the tires, and so Jeff and I immediately feel like we're going to die. We're going because we're the two dudes walking through this huge parking lot, and people are just racing all around us. Um, we've got to walk through like the highway to get back to the hotel. And on the corner, we're waiting for a cab. Guy rear ends another car, and then the occupants of the car that rear ended uh, the the the. The offending car. Yes. The occupants. The at fault. Vehicle. Jumped out of the car and started running away. They bolted. Down, like, F this. We're, go- we're going. <laughs> Later. We're ghosts. And so the, the guy who got hit was like, hey, hey, you can't do that. And started chasing down the driver of the other car around us. Uh, 
And then another car was like, I'm going to help you out because I saw Fast and Furious. And he started like doing crazy moves, like Knight Rider moves. Yeah, like, he, so like the car would pull up ahead of the guy who was running and try and cut off his yeah, front like, car <laughs> while the other guy was running up behind him. So he would change direction. At one point, he's running right at us, and we're like, uh-oh. Yeah, we're like, I don't, should we do something? I'm going to spear this guy. <laughs> and they finally got him, and they sat on him. Yeah. And then they we took just, him down. They, they took him down and dragged him back to the scene of the crime. But his point, buddies got away. Yeah, his buddies got away. Texas uh, Justice. I, they will not be deported. I've never been to Texas, but that sounds like everything I would want Texas to be. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. Was like a bunch of guys in pickup trucks just driving up at some point, well, jumping out. Like two, I two was by so fours. worried when they cornered this guy that they were just going to get at him and just beat the crap out of him. <laughs> like, oh, no. So it was like yeah. the car, and at this point, two pickup trucks had somehow joined <laughs> the chase. So it was just like four dudes surrounding. I was like, we got we got to go. We need to get out of here. <laughs> we and can't we, be witnesses. I can't be arraigned and have to come back to Houston. And, and like I said, Jeff and I are the only people like standing because everybody else is in cars going by, and we're just standing like two idiots on the corner, just watching as this thing circles us, like going all around, like yeah. it's a whirlwind uh, of madness, and then Texas we insanity. Slowly walked away. <laughs> slowly walked away. <laughs> finally, found a cab, got in, yeah, and ran, and, and then ran out of cabs. <laughs> yeah, so this is how you do. Went back to your hotel that was attached to the mall. Uh, yeah, there are there are five DSiWare games out right now, a uh, smattering of, of various junk, and some of it's pretty cool, and some of it is pretty terrible. Let's break it down. Let's run right. down the list. I mean, we've got reviews that are going up over the course of the day. Yeah, we've got two up right now, I'm going to write the other three as soon as we're done here. But, DSi uh, Tuesday. DSi Tuesday. Uh, Master of Illusion Express Funny Face. So Master of Illusion, already a game. Yeah, that came out in, in 07. It's a, it's not, well, it's not a game. It's, it's a collection of dumb magic tricks you can do with your DS, like it comes with a deck of cards and whatever else you need to do, and then they just write the DS into these kind of existing tricks. It's like to, your assistant. So it's like in the yeah, yeah, like your assistant. So the the funny face is one where you basically you 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 go find someone. You have to go do get, this trick get, with get a mark. Get a mark. You have to go find a mark and say, "All right, pick a card, any card." All right, picked a card. Now shouldn't and, and then so it actually gives you the rap that you should use while you're doing the trick to kind of keep people guess and keep people busy. And it's like, all right, now show the card to me, but don't show it to the DSi camera. Okay. So the DSi can't see it, man. Now put it back. Now put it back in the deck. Now put it back in the deck. All now right. I'm going to draw a face, and it's going to tell you what your card is. And then you draw a face on the screen, and it goes, um, is your card the three of clubs? Hmm? And, and then know. the guy goes, that How? was amazing. How, How does he know that? that? Wait, so it doesn't use the camera at all? No, it doesn't use the camera at all. But I, what? So you know, that, you are mystified by the trick. I, I, no, I mean, it's just... I. I'm so worried that that whole service is just going to be filled with just so much crap. Well, I mean, this thing is the worst of the bunch. <laughs> well, also, and they're selling it for two dollars. It's one of the tricks that already came out on this. Like, you can get a copy of Master of Illusion for thirteen bucks, and it's over twenty tricks. So, why would you pay two dollars for one trick? Yeah, did yeah. you download it? Because it's because it's yeah because the it's two dollars and not two thirteen. So, um, spending this two dollars to your point, Giancarlo, we wear. As yes. far as being filled with junk. Yeah. I mean, you know, other stuff in the app store, too. I mean, obviously, it's sure. not. There it's volume. Whole, and- yeah, but I mean, God, if it's just more stuff. And I saw, like, there's, like, an Animal Crossing calculator, too, in the Japan store yeah. and stuff and like that. And there are, like, two more of these Master of Illusion Expresses, like, scheduled for release. So it's like they're going to do stuff like this. And hopefully they won't do a ton of stuff like this because it's terrible. So, <laughs> the, the, I mean, I not to blow the trick. But it's how you draw the face that determines what card it says, dude. So come it's like on. where you start the circle is like a oh, clock. Now you're gonna get killed See, by him. And then w- whether you draw the eye first, or you know that's how it says the suit. So it's it's all just in how you draw the face. David Blaine's on the and camera. and the thing specifically says don't tell anybody how to do the trick. So I'm totally violating. That's the magician's the, the, rule. Yeah. The trust the code. bond. The trust bond I had with my DSI. The magician's is now code. Mm. Yeah, they're gonna come um, after you. Tricks now. revealed. Yeah. So that thing's totally stupid. Uh, it, it's 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 a demo, you know. It, it should be a free demo, yeah. not something you're paying two dollars like, for. Hey, hey, remember this thing that came out in '07? Now there's a little free download demo for you to screw around with. Um, also, uh, and that um, he has two blades instead of just the one. Oh. It's, Christ, it's Kristen Bell. Yeah. Oh shit, you guys, right. dude, what um, hot lady assassin? Hot lady Italian assassin. Yeah. Well, just, I mean, you know, it could be Kristen Bell, but then her ancestor could still be a dude. Or it could be a hot, hot lady. Be a hot lady? I'm saying it could be a hot lady. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you guys play Tomb Raider? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that chick, dude? I played Boob Raider. Dude, that girl is smoking. <laughs> 
I want to get with her. You know what I mean? <laughs> you mean like with sex? You gotta get with her. You know? I want to hook bed? up. I want to hook up with her. You want to knock boot? I want to knock boot and not in a bed <laughs> on a sink. <laughs> So, uh, Assassin's Creed 2, knocking boots, <laughs> confirmed. The Da Vinci Code. Own your own dinosaur or fly to the moon? Oh, man. What's what's the flight to the moon That's like? Tough. Do I get to get out? Do I get to drive a car? Yeah, like what happens in the flight to the moon? You go and turn around and come back? Well, then you go to the moon, you get on the surface, you run around for like an hour, and then you hop back in and you go home. Is it like real world, or is it like fantasy, like flight to the moon, moon in like base. a cool, cool ship, or is it like in a big suit just strapped in a chair the whole time, like a tiny little capsule? You probably you probably get a suit, you get to moonwalk a little bit, you can All bounce right. around some. Can I play golf on the moon? Enjoy that. Uh, what if is you it? bring your golf club and the balls, yes. Enjoy the, what is it, two-fifths of Earth gravity up there? I think I'd go to like the moon. A, I'd yeah. go to the moon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so those are both pretty potentially fatal scenarios. Like, you could either get <laughs> eaten or you could blow up. So, like, I don't know, dude. Those little, yeah. those little uh, but, okay, like, so compies like, from, like, the Lost World, the yeah. little green guys. Yeah, but those yeah. things chew you apart when they get together. If there's, like, a hundred of them. Do I have your assurance that I'm not going to die in either scenario? No. No. Oh, no, that's uh, the no risk. All of the risk of both. That's tough. Oh, that's and there is, you know, definite risks in in either. Although, you know, go to the moon—that's a a time limited experience. Yeah. Oh, am I the you only know, one having a dinosaur? You just like you have a dinosaur for oh. as long as that dinosaur, whatever its you know natural lifespan is, oh, that's bet, your dinosaur. I bet chicks dig a guy with a dinosaur. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I've been that's to the moon, ex- maybe. exotic <laughs> pet. Uh, what am I the only one with a dinosaur? Oh, that's a good question. Well, I can't. I can't predict like the relative economic status of well, going to the moon versus. Is this like some kind of like Disney movie where like I find a dinosaur and I have to keep him secret the whole time and he grows too big and then it's a big problem, but it all works out in the end? Do you want it that way? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't no, know. why are you asking? I me want to stick questions? my dinosaur in a cage and then charge you guys five thousand dollars to go see it because apparently you'll pay big money. Oh yeah. Mm. So I'm going to exploit my dinosaur. You are you are misusing this scenario. The dream, the wish. <laughs> yes, it's 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 not a matter of hmm, how can I make some money out of this. <laughs> Could I bring my dinosaur to the moon? Where is your wide-eyed sense of wonder and naivete, <laughs> sir? As soon as I uh, pick up dinosaur poop, it goes away. I don't know. I really want to go to the moon. That's all. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna say moon. Someday, Ryan. Podcast from the moon. Oh man. Mooncast. Sorry for the delay, folks. We're on the moon. <laughs> The sound quality is bad. It's because the microphones keep floating away. Because we're on the moon. <laughs> also, there's no air. Because <laughs> we're on the moon. Uh, all right. So my follow-up question that poses to Brad already: How many bears does it take to take down a T-Rex? Yeah, he was all, he was all like, "How much would you pay to watch a bear fighting T-Rex?" I'm like, "That's not a fight." Grizzly. Gosh, fifty. Yeah, I think, I think it 50? takes. I think it takes I a lot like of bears. Five. No, nah, at least twenty, dude. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. grizzly. Dude, one yeah. swipe of that tail, and those things are all gone. Man, it was such an awesome fight. I don't know if you've ever seen one, Vinny. A T Rex, but T Rexes are pretty big. They're big. But I mean, okay, yeah. If you're talking about like maybe a juvenile T Rex, no, then no maybe baby. like that, fifteen or twenty. That's just wrong. That's criminal. But a full size adult. Mature male T Rex, straight out of the hatchery. It hasn't really, doesn't really have the. He's got to go on instincts. Hasn't been raised to fight. No poking this T Rex with sticks. These bears are from the wild. They know how to take down yeah, fifty. But think about the sheer size, Finny. Yeah. I mean, like you got to have like five bears to like each a, leg. You need like a bear pile. Like you need bears climbing on top of bears That's just right. to get you can't up really there. Get, yeah. Man, I see now. I a would, bear can't like leap up and go for the jugular. Yeah, or anything. no, but it can get under the belly in the in the you know uh, just so slash at the then, belly. It's like I don't think it could. Those the hind legs on a T Rex are pretty long. I think the only mitigating factor for the T Rex is if the fight happens among trees, because then bears can mm. get up on trees and avoid the T Rex and also jump at the T Rex. Hmm. What if there's? I a, have never seen a bear. They could T Rex guy from a tree <laughs> like in a, offense. Well, I mean, that's and I've <laughs> seen a lot of bears. Have you seen Kung Fu Panda? Yes. Does he jump off a tree? Pandas aren't bears, dude. Yeah, they're marsupials. They're gigantic raccoons. <laughs> Wait, a raccoon's not a marsupial. No, it's not. We should talk about video games. <laughs> no way. <laughs> what? Brian said a man with a rocket launcher, the only thing that yeah, yeah. he was like, he was like, so what would you want to see a T-Rex fight? And I was like, a rocket launcher. Or no, no, you said what could take out a T-Rex. Yeah, what could, yeah. apparently man with a rocket launcher is the only, only real fight. A tank? I think. Yeah. What about a T Rex in like twenty feet of water with a great white shark? Hmm. Hmm. What if the T Rex was flying? This thing's elite, dude. <laughs> yeah. Calvin Hobbes style. Yes. yes. This is 
See, these are the questions. Uh, Green, no, the great white question's really good. I'm glad that Drew's on here. Huh. Well, I, I still think that, you know... One well, big jump to the say, jugular. I'm going to say way less than, than bears. I think you could... Like five great whites? They, they they tear apart by like grabbing on and shaking, right? And yeah. Like, and dragging their victim under the water. How's a T-Rex going to get a great white shark? Unless it, like, snatches it out of the air. It doesn't really have hands. Yeah, I don't know. Like, to, if, it, if it's multiple sharks, I'd go with the sharks on that one. And, you know, a great white is way bigger than just a single grizzly bear. So you're saying, all right, so that by that logic, then, how many how many bears in water would take on a shark? Shallow water. Bears versus uh, great white, shallow water? How shallow? Let's see. It's got to be deep enough for the shark to swim, but shallow enough for the bear to be able to not, like, be able to move around and... Well, bears swim pretty well. I don't, know, so. yeah, but I don't think they could fight while they're swimming. That's kind of unfair. So it could be like five swim. or six feet. All right, so a short, great I'm white. Gonna say, I'm going to say at the bare minimum. <laughs> you see what I did there? Yep. At the bare minimum, like seven grizzlies per shark. Yeah. In that wow. Yeah. Again, you know, the, the, the so shark just, has, has yeah, you know. A natural advantage. You know, Sharks got a whole court advantage. right there. Yeah, yep. absolutely. They got wow. home court. They're that, bigger than 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 a a bear. I think if a you know, great if a great white gets a bear, bear's done. That's right. So, but then the other, so you're saying some just have to be fodder while one yeah. Like whereas down. whereas you know it's if a bear grabs onto the shark, the shark's not necessarily over yet. Mm. So you know you need at least one or two sacrificial bears while the other bears come around. That'd be a crazy fight. <laughs> That'd be freaking intense. All right, we'll we'll orchestrate Let's all of these in there. If you well, these, you know what? We're just blowing through all of great potential <laughs> questions of the week. So I don't know what we're doing here. Well, there you go. How many? <laughs> question mark versus how many? Question mark. GB underscore community at giantbomb dot com. Send it in before Thursday. All right, Ryan, take us back. So there you go. <laughs> hey, it's the Giant Bombcast. It's Tuesday, April twenty first, two thousand nine. Here's an email from Tom Bryan in Manchester, England. And he wants to know if colorblind people can tell if their Xboxes have uh, red lights. I would say probably because that means their Xbox doesn't work. <laughs> Next email. <laughs> I don't know. Have you ever had a red ring, Vinny? I'm not answering that question. Oh, that's right. You're on like a launch console. I'm not answering or that. Or damn near. We're going gonna, gonna to jinx it. Yeah. Hey, world! Hey, Murphy's Law! Hey, cruel fate! <laughs> Vinny's Xbox is like three years old. That's really lucky, Vinny. Wow. I'm amazed that it's lasted this long. Because I've had like four die on I'm me. on my third Xbox now, Vinny. That sucks. But you're still on your first one. Wow. You're the luckiest boy in the whole world. Next email comes in from Chester in Buffalo. All Buffalo! Right. Buffalo. Yeah. Buffalo. 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 Buffalo, 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 <laughs> Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo. Now it doesn't sound like a word anymore. That was a police sentence. You may not know. <laughs> look up look up the word Buffalo seven times on Wikipedia. Police, 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 police. It's No, that's just part you, of the, the Buffaloian dialect. Familiar with all, okay. Remember those mm. Jaffa cakes? They sent us those Jaffa cakes. Oh, yeah, those tasted like, kind of like orange cupcakes. They, yeah. they led to me buying orange cupcakes. Those are good. The twiglets In are terrible. Life. Twiglets taste like dirt, like 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 sticks, like, like twigs, like literally like they took sticks. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I had some I of those. One yeah, of those. Terrible. yeah, terrible, terrible. Yeah, that was that was like no. those are not good. So it's like a little twig. Yeah. Proper twig, twig I ended up uh, filming some video when I was over in London of me drinking some drinks that I bought, but then I had anticipated wrapping that around some sort of Bethesda-related footage, <laughs> yeah. and then none of that materialized at all, so instead I just have like this quick video of me like introing, I'm in London, and now I'm going to try a couple of these drinks, more later, and then there was no more. So, <laughs> we'll fake it. Uh, yeah. Al Alex and uh, Tony also sent us this sherbet fountain, which came in this Tesco bag. So you know it's good. <laughs> Which is basically a... Just throw this just in a big plastic, bag. just a, yeah, like a little this plastic a sandwich bag. Just sitting on a sandwich bag from Tesco's. So apparently there's just like a gigantic price war going on between all these discount retailers like Tesco and like Sainsbury's and a, a few other places. Like ads on TV all the time. Just like saying like, we comp we bought a basket of stuff and compared it to some stuff from Tesco and ours was cheaper. Like 80% of the time, real baskets, r really cheaper. This is in the UK? Yeah, yeah. So it's all got like crazy accents too. Yeah, fired up UK people. And, and there's there's one chain over there that like their their sign of like savings is slapping their ass and having there be a coin noise. Like say so you got change in your pocket. 
So it's like just people smacking their ass and then a little <laughs> like chained and I'm like, yeah. That's how I get paid. <laughs> I got some pence. Uh, actually, I do want to try one more of these things before we move on. You just got it. All right, make it fast. Yeah, right, we'll get rid of this. What is that pepperoni oh, stick? What do you got? Kind of. It was the the uh, the writing on it was too great. It's just the uh, the fire stick uh, pepperami. <laughs> yep, not pepperoni. What? Pepperami. Pepperami. One hundred percent serious salami. That's what that's what they used to call me in high school. <laughs> and then <laughs> on the, hey there, serious salami. <laughs> hey, what's up? And then on the back Having it says. The tagline, are you barmy about salami? Barmy? Balmy? No, B-A-R-M-Y. Are you barmy about salami? And that, of course, is a slang term for British Army. Barmy. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone Not knows Pick that. up the dog and bone. Doy. D- d- uh, cockney rhyming slang. Yep. Whoa. Yeah, this is serious salami, my friend. There you go. You want to break yourself off a little piece of this? Does, does it break off? Barmy salami. <laughs> Ew, it's... Uh, yeah, it's greasy. <laughs> It's a meat stick. Of yeah, course it is. Call me in high school. Hey, it's Greasy. Hey, <laughs> Greasy. Hey, Greasy. Hey. What's up? Okay, so last week we talked a lot about, um, we, we, start, we kicked off the show with a showstopper talking about uh, T-Rexes versus bears. And oh, man, sharks Jeff. Versus bears. I don't know if you heard. Bears versus T-Rexes. <laughs> no, I heard. Okay. Uh, sharks versus. I want to weigh in on some of that. I heard, I heard it was one of the most divisive segments in podcast history. <laughs> it was. Some people hated it. I got some emails from some people who were so angry. And uh, you know what? I just love that we can do something that can just, that can elicit that kind of, a, that's the strength of that response. Good or bad. I hate. Like, oh, so let's do it again. What are you doing? Read the email. Oh, this is so much better. <laughs> and and Toby, God bless you for this. He uh <laughs> so he ran the fight of a grizzly bear versus a T Rex using Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Yeah. Which I, I, I didn't know yeah, you could. It's the only way to do it. Yeah. It's the only way to properly simulate this. And so he put ten bears and a T Rex on opposite sides of a fifty by fifty square pit. The Bears won initiative in the first strike. He was able to take down the T-Rex with seven bears over three combat rounds. The T-Rex killed two bears and seriously injured another, and uh, three bears never even entered the fight. Wow. Uh, Best kill was when one bear got too close to the T-Rex when attempting to flank and gave the T-Rex an attack of opportunity. The T-Rex made a critical hit and bit the bear in half. I can wow. see that this may not be a perfect simulation that I could have that done. That sounds different. scientific. But, it happened to yeah. but I hope this helps. Uh, yeah. Wait, where did it happen? He says he'd hoped that you know he could have given you some other situ- you know s- other situations such as being in the mountains or oh, in the forest or something. Mm-hmm. But yeah. since this was a flat, the clinical, square clinical pit, study, that's right. Right. So we're, not, we're not dealing with any sort of n- you know natural factors or anything. We got to remove the variables. Yeah, no, that's none great. of those variables is strictly. Bear, ver- yeah, or, you know, bear versus bears versus T Rex in uh, white room in, so in, we in were, where Apple commercials take place. So we were totally off. Like I, I had said like fifty bears. Yeah, no, and no. Jeff, you had you had we had talked about this <laughs> off air. Uh huh. And I believe you had said thirty. You said at least thirty bears. Yeah. Well, no, we were talking about like sharks and versus T Rex, and the sharks weren't in water. To which we talked I, about to that which also. I said no amount of sharks unless they're dropped from. 10,000 feet directly onto the T-Rex's head, in which case it is one shark. <laughs> That's where I mean, the conversation ended up going, yes. Well, then we argued about... And one Charlie Sheen would do it? Yeah, 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 yeah if you drop Charlie Sheen from 10,000 feet... Terminal velocity. Terminal velocity. Terminal velocity. Star Star Charlie Sheen. <laughs> yep. All right, so we just recreated that conversation. Run okay. that through your simulator. <laughs> what level would, would the Charlie Sheen be? What's his thaco? <laughs> A Tom Nook skinned calculator. Oh, man. Why doesn't that thing just have a calculator built in? Doesn't it? I don't think no, so. No, maybe it doesn't. It's got a web browser. It's got the sound yeah. and picture stuff. Is it like a full calculator? Can you do like scientific like, functions is it, is it on it? Probably probably not. I don't think so. Yeah, because that graphing, that would be very Tom weird. Graphing. That would be kind it of It does have a that. unit converter. Okay. All right. My iPhone has And you can stuff. listen to the animalese pronunciation of numbers when you press them. Uh, only if it was oh, in Sandwich. Oh, man. Soul. Big features oh, there. Man. What's the other one? Is it calculator? And what's, what's the calendar? clock? Cal- clock? 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 Clock. What? <laughs> clock. Okay. It does have a clock. It definitely has a clock. clock. That Dude. I feel pretty comfortable. Oh, with. oh my god! <laughs> like it, it probably doesn't even like you have to launch it. It's not like it reskins the default clock. Man. 3D glasses. That's all I'm telling you, guys. It's, uh, it's already got two screens, it's man. It's set alarms. <laughs> it uses the system's internal clock, or you can offset the time however you like. 
Whoa. Then sit back and watch as different characters from Animal Crossing appear and the color of the sky changes as time passes. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> sit back and enjoy the Animal Crossing clock as the watch passage as of time, time passes watch, before you. Watch your life slip through your fingers as Tom Nook and the gang... Show you that your life is a complete and total waste. Oh Please tell God. me these are 200 points. 200 each. points. Yeah, 200 points. Uh, each. Yes. A piece. Four dollars. Four bucks for... For that stuff. Nonsense. I, for, man, no, for garbage. Even... For the, trash. Even if they just start putting, like, some GBA junk. games I mean, out, I'd be happy. I already felt like I was kind of getting a rough deal uh, by buying the swaddled. last actual Animal Crossing game. Yeah. Because it was so kind of the, the same, same game. Yeah. yeah. So came that like, sweet room speaker. Yeah, which I used a ton. Yeah. A lot of games supporting it. A lot tons of games supporting it. Man. Conduit. Right. That will support it. That will support it. We wear penguins and friends hyphen. Hey, that's my fish. Think about what has happened in the time between them Men, announcing Duke Nukem Forever and right now. Chairs were broken. People were Half-Life, that's right. Half-Life happened. Yeah. Halo happened. Came uh, and entire, went. Yeah, the and Xbox, the brand of the Xbox happened. Since yes, then. twice. <laughs> there um, was a Dreamcast. I was in high point. school when that game was announced. Consoles have died and been buried in that. Remember the GameCube? The what? Nope. Nintendo GameCube? Nope. Star Road. Not ringing any bells. The Pre-Wii, yes. <laughs> the Pre-Wii. The, 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 Pre-Wii. Yeah, like they should re-release it as the Pre-Wii. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Cabbage Patch Kids? That happened. <laughs> that was that came and went. <laughs> MC Hammer. The whole entirety of uh, the Star Trek start to finish. <laughs> you remember Millie Vanilli? <laughs> Millie Vanilli came and had their whole career. Hula hoops. Those were there. <laughs> uh, television went from black and white to color. <laughs> that was, Cracker that... Jack started coming in bags instead of boxes. Dinosaurs <laughs> when it stinked. <laughs> <laughs> All these things happen. Yogi so, Berra retired. <laughs> that was sad. That was a sad one. The Cuban Missile Crisis. Yep. That was a rough time. Mm. Where were you? <laughs> Waiting for Duke Nukem Forever to come out, man. <laughs> that was when they changed engines. So the you know that's why Kurt Cobain killed himself. <laughs> 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 it's right there in the timeline. So yeah. the the uh, like even though Three Rooms doesn't say anything official, it does seem like you know that's that they're done there because a lot of the people that worked there have started posting up <laughs> assets from the game. This, this morning, did no, you? no, that's that's later. Oh, that's not now. Bummer. We can't talk about that. Okay. Whoa. What's uh, up? Now I want to know what you're talking about. You know what we're talking you know about. What we're talking about. We talked to you. We talked about to you about it. this and about how we couldn't talk about it. I've already forgotten about it. <laughs> this, about then this. you're better off. This is how I keep secrets around here. Is why it's going like what? But then everyone saw you. Remember, you just blurted it out. Yeah, that's actually know. the worst part. It's, hey guys, you hear about that? <laughs> what? No. Oh no. I know. I am horrible about doing that. Which is why I just try to never say anything that I know. That's yeah. secret. Um, soccer, uh, soccer. Soccer. Game yeah. off. One to four players. Ready to eat for everyone. Eight hundred. Like real, is it real soccer? Real 2009? soccer. Two thousand nine. Uh, it's time to live the soccer season to the max with Real Soccer 2009 on Nintendo DSi, uh, touch controls, Nintendo DSi camera support. You can make your own custom balls. He he, even your giggle. Yeah. Uh, or team flag. <laughs> <laughs> You're a team flag of your balls. What? Or just take, take photos picture, of your testicles. Take a picture of your balls and put it on the ball. What? And then send it to us and win a copy of <laughs> Klonoa. <laughs> <laughs> win one of these Dragon Age books. Send Truly, us a picture this of your is balls. the age of your balls. This week's quest of the week: you want to see your balls. <laughs> <laughs> to be clear, here you can't upload this to YouTube. Reasons, uh, don't send no, us. No, do not. We don't. don't we don't want about it. Racket. It's all for comedy. Balls. It's all for joking. We want boobs. <laughs> That's can't, right. if you're can't say that either. But yeah. only if you're over 18. <laughs> right. There con- you go. We're totally covered. That right? never it. made it. Nailed it. <laughs> Show we us. wear family pirate party. I, w- I would just like to back up a moment and applaud both Nintendo and Game Loft for releasing an actual video game on DSiWare. <laughs> Word. You know, that's, yeah. That's, it, it, is, it is not a game I will purchase and play, but thank you. 
It's progress. Thank you, thank you. And 198 <laughs> teams, 3D graphics. It's like it seems like a... It sounds like a game. It sounds like a game. It doesn't sound like, here's a toy. It's not soccer calculator. No. It's not soccer, enter how much your bill was, and it tells you how much you should tip. <laughs> or Soccer Express or whatever they're... Uh, yeah. Their little mini... You soccer Express. Ex- two goals. Like, it's not like, yeah, they're not taking a Dino's game. Ronaldinho you- is not going to teach you how to shuffle cards in a weird way. <laughs> Be great if you did. <laughs> I want that more. I'd pay 800 DSI points or whatever for that. Is that how much? Master that? Evolution much Express, that? bend it like Beckham. <laughs> uh, yeah, Family Pirate Party is your WiiWare game. 500 bones. I feel like we've, I, I feel like I am just repeating everything on on WiiWare at this at point. At this point, like everything just sounds like the same sort of. Like family friendly nonsense that's where party they, games, and that's where they teach you how to install the backup loader on a Wii. That's it. Family pirate party. <laughs> can I uh, can I try and uh, risk the description for this? You just tell me if I'm on or not. I'll okay. do it too short. Uh, the mom and dad are back to join in and fa- pirate themed mini game collection. They Yo ho ho! Sink the ship or g- grab the booty or. N- Am I close? Our game sounds way better. I would like to play a scintillating game of Grab the Booty. (laughs) Sis is back. Again, if you want to win these Dragon Age books. (laughs) Uncle Peter's back in a great game for Grab the Booty. You're close. It's uh, Daddy, Mommy, Sarah, and Billy make their return as pirates sailing the seas and skies. Roll the dice and sail through the islands to gather the treasures each island holds. The person with the most gold at the end wins. Family Pirate Party shines with appealing cel-shaded graphics and endearing music. Challenge up to three other players. For some four-player board game fun. Sail um, the sea and skies. Yep. The sky sky pirates. pirates. Is this the skies of Arcadia? Yep. The, is this part of that franchise? Huh? Yeah. Yes. Axis Games. Finally. A-K-S-Y-S. And your virtual console release Dog is Kosh. Galaxy Force 2 for the uh, Sega Genesis. All right. 800 points. Emails. It's email time, gentlemen. Uh, bomb Email is my favorite part of the show. Uh, bomb favorite part of the bomb show. Bomb.com. Set your emails there. This is my favorite part of the show. Do you like this part of the show? I, this, we're help, helping people. Oh, we had a lot of people, a lot of people uh, mailed in to, to give us a stern talking to about our appraisal of uh, Tekken's popularity in Japan. This is my favorite part of the show. I saw I saw some of that on all like, yeah, A lot too. of emails came in of, of people. Yeah, some people citing, quoted uh, facts and stuff to say that Tekken was popular in Japan. I don't know that I bought it. statistics, things uh, like yeah, that. Yeah, apparently it did very well in the Arcadia rankings. Yeah. So I, I guess we should. You know, surprisingly not horrible. Not a thing that if you put on the back of a box that moves units. <laughs> exactly. You can't like, put that point. in an ad. That would be it's a great down, ad, though. 50 cent blood on the sand. Surprisingly not horrible, <laughs> says Jeff Gersman. Giant bomb. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's not record. bad. Yeah. Rolling Stone gives it a shrugged shoulders. <laughs> well, that's, all right. that's all right. Better than the last one. Destructoid says, features helicopters. <laughs> Confirmed. Confirmed. <laughs> helicopters. I confirm the presence of helicopters and 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. Do you like helicopters? No. Then you'll hate 50s. Then you'll love 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. I hate them. I don't trust them. That's right. Shoot down these helicopters filled with white supremacists or whatever's in there. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, that's a commercial. I guess, See, exactly. <laughs> 50, I'm going to get you. Coming for you. 50. Going to get you. Turn your heart, 50. 50. Who is that? The end the, boss. The, the end boss. Oh, yeah, really? 50 Cent Blood on the Sand is this like sounds... old southern white man. Oh, sounds wow. like a plantation owner. Like real. And really you can just see like, you know, the last hundred years of racial <laughs> racial tension unfolding in this fight. It's, <laughs> it's, a, wow, deep, deep, it's, a, it's a deep fight, man. Does, does he wear a white suit? He, he might as well be. He flies, he flies a helicopter. Does he have a bolo tie? No, he basically dresses <laughs> like uh, Joe Don Baker in the... Uh, uh, James Bond movies with yeah. Pierce Brosnan. So, so no, no mint julep? <laughs> no, no, no. He's. I think the mint julep is implied. Okay. <laughs> it's, yes, it's an implicit <laughs> mint julep. Wow. Uh, my, my new favorite dandy core band, implicit, implicit mint, mint, julep. mint julep. Yeah, <laughs> Man, those guys are all right. <laughs> oh, my God. It, I, it took me a minute to process the word dandy core. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little, like, real delayed reaction on that one. <laughs> We wear. We got Crystal Defenders R two, which I believe already came out on Xbox Live Arcade as the tower defense Final Fantasy thing that Square's doing. That'll be eight hundred bones, eight hundred Wii bones, and then uh, Silver Star Chess. It's chess. Hey. Chess. Chess. What, but what kind of, is it like futuristic robot chess? Silver Star Chess? It's, not battle, it's not battle chess, I don't want it. Silver Star Chess has chess two modes. One player and two player. <laughs> Is a chess maniac five one million and allows one. you to play a chess match against the computer opponent. Uh-huh. Wait, wait, what? Can Did, I? No. 
Two player mode allows you to play against another person. That's what I was gonna say. Oh man, you stole We're it. We're getting into me. the game development business. In one player <laughs> mode, you could select one of five different computer opponents as well as turn the background music off, <laughs> adjust sound effects, and access in game help features. I 